What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another uh, Innistrad draft here on Shadows over Innistrad.com. And uh, I think Settle Score is probably the best pick here. We could take this Dread Shade or this Arvad, but I think this is probably the best pick. Especially because when we get our Karn, uh, putting two loyalty counters on it's going to be pretty legit. Um, a lot of solid picks in this pack. Blessed Light's good. You have my Sap Herd's good. Surveyor is good. I think it's one, two, three, four, five. It's one of these six. Pretty sure it's Settle. I'll take Settle. Because then when someone passes the Karn, because they open Karn, Foil Karn, then we just get that. My favorite part about Settle is that when you say it and people aren't really paying attention, they're like, Settle the Wreckage? That's not even in this format. And you're like, listen, buddy. What you know about my Settle? <coughs> Ooh, ooh, that's a perfect little pass there. Someone took an uncommon over a Josu vest. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I can, let me let me reiterate again how thrilled I am with how much how much usage this uh, this Michael Scott cringe emote is getting. Every time I make an emote, I really hope it like gets use. Like I hope it's applicable to a bunch of different things. And um, that Michael Scott one is really coming through. I'm gonna take this Josu vest. These are two top tier black cards. These are top shelf black cards right here. <clears throat> is this Liliana taking on Bells and Lock? Bell Bells and is that his name? Bezel Bezel and Lock, Louis Skullnick from Revenge of the Nerds, maybe. I don't know. I used to just that control deck standard trail the other day. I had to make a couple of changes due to not having enough Karn. 3-0 and open. That's awesome to hear, dude. I really like after playing it on stream, I really like the way it felt, but I haven't haven't tried to I haven't tried to play it since. Um, so that's awesome to actually hear that it did well. Because I thought the deck the deck seems sweet. Right? Like even if they kill even if they, you if you go Raf end of turn and then they kill it, you still have your turn to play whatever you want, which is pretty sweet. I'm gonna just take this skittering surveyor here. Who are the other three demons? We have uh, Gristlebrand, Razaketh, and who else is there? Is it some unknown demon that we just never got to see? Could have also made uh, a point of uh, Saperling my migration there. Oh, no, well, I guess you can just get this one. I also like Weight of Memory here. Hmm. Did you just keep passing these migrations? I keep spilling my drink. It's like I just forgot how to drink today. Got a old dribbly mouth. Cothofed. That dude is not even memorable. What was that guy in Magic Origins? Yeah, Magic Origins. Soul Hoarder. 6-6 six, six for 6. Whenever a permanent owned by another player is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you draw a card and lose a life. Meh. <coughs> Good to know, though. I appreciate that someone knew that. I appreciate that a bunch of you guys knew that. Thank you. Is it weight or is it sapperling? I think it's weight. I went with weight. Oh, oh! I like a gilded lotus because we have Josu vests here, and it's obviously not this. It could have been sapperd if we took the migration. Man, we're passing like a really good green deck, unfortunately. I'm going to take the Lotus, though. I'm going to stick with my Josu Vest plan. Um, My God, no blue cards here. We've made terrible mistakes. How many how many rat colonies do you think we can get? All right, I'm glad you guys were on board with the Lotus for Vest plan. Lotus for Vest is... Uh, that's my political slogan. <laughs> rat colony cringe face. Oh, God. Oh, the cringe face is so good. You guys are really killing it. I'm really proud of all of you. I think we just take this guy. I don't know. Oh, actually, this lets us bounce a Josu Vest or a Skittering Surveyor. Actually, this guy's probably not bad. Uh, Deep Freeze is probably better than Skin Witch. I had a Skin Witch for lunch. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's disgusting. I don't want to finish that statement. <clears throat> well, now I'll take a Skin Witch, especially with my Gilded Lotus. Sapherd? 
All right, now I'm just taking the sap herd because you're making it very clear to me that you want me to take these green cards. <clears throat> Actually, I, I like what we've got so far. Gilded Lotus makes it easy to like splash away to memory or a deep freeze if we want to. So does this one, this one of compass. <laughs> Trash the rat colony deck faces one copy of Radiant Light. Dang it, my whole rat colony deck. Oh, Mammoth Speed Adder. Why not run Yargle into the green deck from today's YouTube video to cheat out Galta? Um, that's a good question. That's a good question. I'm going to assume it's just a troll. Like a trolly meme, meme type deal. But, um... You know, honestly, no real reason. I think there's a, I think there's a good argument to, to be had for a 5-mana 9-3 in standard. <clears throat> Is a kosher hot dog a skin witch? Um... It depends on the type of uh, hot casing that's on that bad boy. Hot casing? What kind of stream did I walk into? Let's talk about the skin witch's hot casing. <laughs> God. I can't. I can't even. Um, oh, This card's really good. But we're not white. Come on. Is that card worth anything? Probably nothing, right? It's probably worth a shiny nickel. Fifty-three cents. Don't care. Hot case. <laughs> no, don't don't make that my story. <clears throat> I like omnivore here, and it keeps us out of the blue and the green. Shalai seems terrible because we can't even like use the ability effectively. So it's like two colors. You can both cat. Oh, okay. So with the gilded lotus, right? Sure. I like Omnivore. I think Omnivore is probably better. We could just splash the white for this and be green still. We do have a Skittering Surveyor. All right, you sold me. Elk Tears, you sold me, buddy. Oh, a double settle the score. That's where I want to be. I mean, they're, they're really prepping us for this third pack Karn, I'll be honest with you guys. We could also be Shauna. Shauna -na -na -na. Take settle the score. No, it'd be Elder's Torment. Why aren't you Elder's Torment? Ooh, another Sapper, which I like better than Land of War Elves here, especially if we're playing the Shalai. All right, we're taking out the blue. We're going with the green. I would take this guy. I think this guy's actually very, very good, but we uh, already have three five drops right now. And we would have had four with weight, <laughs> five with this. Yeah, Sapper is better with the, uh, what's his name? Um, <clears throat> this pack's pr actually Death Bloom Thal is pretty good for us. So is so is Second Skittering Surveyor to be quite honest. All the leaves are brown. Yeah, Skittering Surveyor makes things easier for us. Oh, another Sap Herd! My God, I want Sap Herds. I want as many Sap Herds as I can get. I will settle as many scores and sap as many herds as I possibly can. Fungal infection seems good. <clears throat> eh. It's the only card for us. I do like a dark bargle, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> All the leaves are brown. And the sky is gray. Another weight, huh? Well, that's pretty that's pretty good. <clears throat> it's probably just weight. Oh, Pierce the Sky and Broken Mon. My two preferred sideboard cards for decks like this. I think we have Double Settle the Score and a Mammoth Spider. I, I, I usually err on the side of Broken Mon because it's it's a more... Um, what do you call it? It's a more unique ability than the Pierce the Sky, which is basically just the same as a removal spell. So, 
On a winter's day. Another divest. That's basically a I actually like Nature Spiral because you can get back a, a Shalai, a Josu. I, I think Nature Spiral is actually better than... Pe Man. Better than people give it credit for. <clears throat> All right, can we get old mamas and papas in it? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep it real. I keep it old school. Play Shalai, they kill it, get it back. What well, problem is? Howie hype is right. I don't know how, how I don't know how that applies there. I like that our three drops are three sap herds and two surveyors. That seems okay. I like that our only blue cards are double deep freeze, double weight of memory. Two, two tier one, uh, blue cards. With four, of, two of each. <clears throat> this deck is kind of strange. Like I feel like we shouldn't have. Like I might as well just throw all these in there too, and we'll just be four color. Oh, the old Mirari conjecture. <sighs> one day, guys. One day. Return an instant for my gravy to my hand. Not as good. We don't have any instants. Literally zero. Fungal infection, I guess. Uh, I don't want a second spider. I'd rather have an omnivore. I feel like being going taking the raft here is a little greedy. I'm going to take this guy. Because he's a safe pick. Oh, a Woodland Cemetery. That's pretty good. Oh, here's the migration we want. I think it's actually migration, and the Woodland Cemetery is going to come back, so it'll be fine. We could also splash this Tetsuko. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take Saperling Migration here. Mm, these picks are getting a little thin here. We did not do a Lorwyn Draft. That's what we have to do. All right, cool. Hopefully Kerwick can make it back here by then. Slimy? What's slimy? I don't even know what that means. Is there a card called slimy that I'm just missing? I'm going to take Jousting Lance. There's the Jota every time. Oh, yeah. Slimefoot would be great. <laughs> I don't know if we're getting like a fourth, fifth pick Slimefoot. Look, we can take one of the other, one of the two blue cards we have. This guy's probably playable in our deck. None of these other cards are, so. What are you what are you what are you sending here, Matthew? My name is Ralph Lubin, and I am part Italian. And, uh, <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why are you the way that you are? Yeah, I'll take a fourth sapper. This is this is a card I'll actually play. Especially with a shall I. <clears throat> What up, Denmark? Um, now I'll take a second spider. This deck looks pretty good, actually. Oh, a final parting. That's actually pretty good with, uh, you know, cards like this or Gilded Lotus or something. Probably just going to take Thalid Omnivore. Do I want another Thalid Omnivore? Probably. Yeah. Omnivore number dose seems like, oh, a third Omnivore as well. That's probably where I draw the line, but still don't hate having it. Wow, the Mirari Conjecture came back. I'm just going to take that to take it. Maybe we'll splash it. Probably not splashing it. Actually, I wonder if this is just worse than Soul Set. Wow, that is a late Joyer's Familiar. Do not know how this works? This is just worse than Soul Salvage, right? Because Soul Salvage is one more mana, but most of the time you're getting back creatures anyway.
I feel like I should not have three weight of memories in my sideboard. I feel like I can legitimately mill them now. The cemetery didn't wheel. That's weird. We're only splashing for one white card. We need to make two cuts here. <clears throat> oh my god, what is this? This shirt's amazing. What is this? Who made this? Dingus egg, did you make this? Where did this come from? This shirt's amazing. <laughs> That's friggin' incredible, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, Curse of Ooze is pretty poop. I'm also not a big fan of Nature Spiral. I don't like how few two drops that leaves us with, but our three drops are... I could also take out... I could take out Llanowar Envoy. That guy kind of sucks. That guy sucks my butt. I also like Ooze better than Nature Spiral here. Actually, maybe I like the Nature Spiral better than Partic Wander. I think I do. This deck looks... Interesting. One, eight, eight, deal. Perfect. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Oh, this is the hand. This is the hand we always wanted. Now I have the mamas and the papas stuck in my head. Oh, God. Perfect. Just beautiful. <clears throat> Trade you one ones. <laughs> What up, Chris? Get in there, you little you little munchkin. You little gremlin, you. I'm a saprolig. Oh. <sighs> Rub it in my face, why don't you? Is it the same link? Is this the same? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh my god, I love you. LaFoaf, what's going on, buddy? God, Elk Tears, how do you have that at the ready so quick? It's actually impressive. You're the hero this chat needs, but not the one we deserve for sure. This is a knight? No, you're a human warrior? Okay. Oh, you didn't want to come at me, bro? Okay. Okay. Wow, you got LaFoe Felkters and Cosme in here? That's crazy. You guys are out of control. I like that Cosme is the only name I used. Uh, the only first name I used there. That's, that's a logical thing to do. <clears throat> All right, well... Pop your little, your little, your little chestnut there. Legendary draft boy. Aren't, aren't all the draft boys legendary? I would imagine they are. Well. What are the odds this works out favorably for us? Very low.
What's the haps, daddy-o? Figure out how you want to pump this guy to blow me out completely. <laughs> Guess I'll have to get one for every day of the week. Oh, Yeah, you just got to get a chicken Sunday shirt for every day. To get it in a different color. Different color every day. Yep, here we go. Adamant will. Yeah, all right. To the surprise of no one. So we literally just traded Yav my sap herd for an adamant will. That's fine. And took eight damage. Everything's fine. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Why'd you just be omnivore thalid number two? Thalid omnivore number dose. Yeah, let's do that. Am I coming to your Mezcal party, pool party? Probably not, unfortunately. I wish I could. I feel like the notice might be a little too short. Oh, the old History of Benalia into Song of Fraley's deck. A classic. Pretty sure this game is over. Cool. So we have three cards that are just lands in hand. Yeah, I'm not going to deal with this bullshit. <laughs> this is just nonsense. Broken Bond. Nature Spiral. Actually, I like a divest in here. Is Lil Willy 5 a draft boy too? Get out of town. <clears throat> uh, yeah. This hand is this hand is significantly worse than uh than the last hand. Yet the, their last hand was significantly fine. So. What can you do? Oh, again, every game. Every game with the Land War Elf on turn one. Little Willy 5, happy birthday, buddy. I didn't know it was your birthday today. I only come to your chat to play an IRL draft. It's a good way to get in touch with these other guys. I can't, I don't blame you for that. Uh, that one we're probably not going to be as quick to run out there on turn two. Any white or black land would be great here. I would also take a uh, skittering surveyor as that is basically a white or black land. Yeah. Seems good. I will take one, two, whatever. Any time for the second black. I don't know. I don't know why I haven't drawn a second black in both these games, but. I thought this deck looked good, but then you play against a actual deck that got actual bombs, and uh, you're like, oh, I see. I understand. Yep. What is going on right now? Land. <sighs> Thankfully, we're not significantly far behind here. Yeah, we are. <clears throat> Song of Fraley's. No, 
Oh, just a terrible 3 1. What are the odds you have adamant, Will? A million? Probably a million, right? One million percent. Oh, of course, you put that guy in the front. You got the adamant, Will. You have two cards in hand. Of course, one of them's going to be the trick, right? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? <clears throat> Enjoy your draft. <clears throat> Good times. All right. Well, that was a productive round one. Just kidding. It was not a productive round one. All right. Yes, I will play first. I'll keep this hand based on the fact that we got this fungal infection and this surveyor, so we got things to do. Do you even like Mezca? <laughs> Doot, doot, doot. Let them know this is a simulation and nobody is the real anyone. That's a good that's a good point. Look at this little guy. I'm probably just gonna kill it now. Especially because he can't get a thing off of it, so. Well, we definitely got all the black sources we need, so now we can just get a... I'd like to get a planes off this because we're significantly more likely to hit a forest. So maybe we do that. Maybe we just get a planes anyway. Forest! Oh, dang it. We're going to get a forest. We're not going to get anything because they're going to sink. Okay, they didn't. Whoa. 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 Take it easy, buddy. That was aggressive. Oh, look who it is. Oh, Exile? That doesn't do anything. I said Exile, and, and Alexa thought I said Alexa. And she was just like, sorry, I don't know what you're saying right now. Exile that creature. Okay, nothing, nothing happened there. Oh, interesting. Marari Conjecture gets a Jousting Blade. Okay. I'll Exile. Okay? Yeah, she definitely responded to that. I heard her go, boo -hoo. Yes, yeah, so you got to be careful about saying I'll exile when you're streaming because then she's listening and she's like, yes. So if you guys have Amazon Echoes at your houses, then uh, 
then I probably set them off by saying I'll exile. Well, they're going to have two 10 10 10s next turn, <clears throat> which is a little annoying. Not two 10 10s, two 5 fives. You know what I'm saying. I don't foresee myself blocking them, so. I don't know what a Wemo switch is. <laughs> Everyone set up their Alexa and Frank will say all exile and all the results. I can't even say it. So I go low when it comes up when it comes across because I don't want to like. Oh, Reese, if we didn't get anything good, buddy. Oh, a second one. Wow. The Antiquities War dot deck over here. Well, this is something else. Oh my god, that's a good one. That's a spicy meatball. Oh yeah, those are sweet. Oh, just a smart plug. Yeah, all you gotta do is say smart plug. I would have known that you were I I would have known. I'm not gonna block anything here. Because I can go to 10 and feel comfortable about that. <laughs> Are they dead? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... I guess we sacrifice both guys to this. Got him. <clears throat> they you got greedy, Martin. I'm on a broken bond here for obvious reasons. The name is Bond. Broken Bond. <laughs> Cross of you is actually good. Uh, Nature Spiral can come out. Marari's War. Marari's War never changes. War. Marari's War never changes. That's my favorite video game franchise of all time, just to be clear. Oh, the Sparring Construct makes a lot more sense now. The name is Bond. Soul Bond. Wow, that was old school. It had to be because Soul Bond was a long time ago. What was that? Avison Restored? Wow. 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 Well, if we can draw a three drop next turn, that'd be great. Because I like being able to cast my little creatures. Little creatures. One time. Oh, that's not a three drop at all. I also don't want to play it. I do. I was in her store was like 10 years ago. That was 2012. That was six years ago. That's a long time ago, man. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, this guy's doing a lot of damage to us. Maybe we should have just played Josu there, to be quite honest. Oh my god. 
Radiant Lightning? Oh, that's worse. Yeah, it's not worse, I guess. Arabian Nights, like Arabian Days. <clears throat> Next turn we can be skin witching. Guys, there can be more than one old school. Just because one set is older than another doesn't mean they're not both old school. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be stupid. You guys are we're all having like a pissing contest about what's older. We all know it's older. Come on, we're all going streaking. We're going down to the quad. It's from a little movie called Old School. Wow, they shivin' fired my guy. I'm not going to seven here. I'll just block. And now we can just now we can just double block here. Oh, two lands? Dang. What was the voice I did? What voice did I do? I actually don't even recall. I can't even recall. I'm older than my birthday recently. Happy birthday, buddy. I didn't even know. Oh, that's it. No more coming through. It's not lit anymore, boys. All right, we win the match. Good games. Good games. Daylight come and we had good games. Was that Harry Belafonte? Don't be stupid. That one? Was it that one? Maybe this one will maybe this one will work out. I will play first. You know what? I'll keep this hand. I don't know if they're actually making Beetlejuice. It's something I, it's something you keep hearing about over the years. Every so often it comes up and you're like, what about now? I don't know if I want to play this on four, on two, or on six. Eh, two's fine, I guess. Actually, we don't have any reason to play it on two. Also, I'm pretty sure everything Michael Keaton has done in the last, like, five to ten years has, has been amazing. He's just absolutely killed it on everything, so... <clears throat> Birdman has been good. He was amazing in Spider Man Homecoming. Uh, I loved The Founder. Yeah, Michael Keaton's just fantastic. Tantrum, are you of the mind that if anything's a remake, it's, it's automatically ruined? Because that doesn't really seem logical. I mean, it doesn't make the other ones worse. You just you just enjoy the old one, and some people can enjoy the new one. A newer generation can appreciate that movie uh, from their perspective. Yes, because yes. Okay, well, as long as we're using logic. 
Oh, I see. I understand now. Can I draw a settle the score? Because I have yet to do that. Birdman is trash. Big problems with Birdman. Wow. Well, I mean, big time LA guy. You know. Settle the score one time. Just once. That's not it. I don't actually like what's happening here. I would rather have a Final Fantasy 3 slash 6 remake, which is the same thing. <laughs> they got the big time LA hipster with his beard and his and his denim jacket saying he doesn't like Birdman. Hmm, big surprise. Well, I liked Keaton before he went mainstream. I don't see that's the thing, like look at the thousands and thousands of movies that are being made and they make a dozen remakes out of thousands and then people are like, there's not enough original ideas. Well, there are. Some are just good enough to to be redone. Like call it homage, call it uh, call it being faithful to trying to you know trying to uh, you know respect the source material. Call it whatever you want, but like it just it seems it seems disingenuous to be like oh well you know they there's not enough original ideas. Well, because that's not that's not what's happening. Oh. Oh, we would have been dead. Yeah, we would have been dead. They would have just killed us. Well, they have one card. They can shoot the Shalai. This guy's got first strike. Well, we can't actually take this guy's damage. I think we can take three. Oh, God. So, you know, just lose your whole board here. Uh, I'm a bigger Marvel fan. I've always been a Marvel fan, but I do appreciate DC. So. Brian, every day at 2 p.m. <laughs> 2 p.m. Eastern, every day. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. So that's cool. If we could draw one settle the score, I'd be okay. Yeah, DC's recent movies are something. They are something, all right. I agree with you that some of them feel like they're being made for the cash grab. I agree with that. Um, but I don't think that inherently taints my view of remakes. So.
I mean, I'm pretty sure nostalgia is always hot, though, right? Like, nostalgia is always hot. Because, you know, back in the day, like, okay, so they made, you know, what's the, what was the, the, the pool name, the pool movie with, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name. The one that they remade. Cool Hand Luke? Like, they're always remaking movies. They've been making, remaking movies for the dawn, since the dawn of time. Like, we just think nostalgia's hot now because we're, now it's, you know, because it's, we're aware of it. Like, now it's, it's aware, now it's our generation, so, like, we're being able to see the, um, All the leaves are brown. Here comes a run amok. Wow, this is a great attack for us. So now if we draw if we draw settle the score, we just get to kill this dude. Battle an omnivore. We do get to double block it. Not profitably. What's this? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We can act, we can get the skin witch back and make them discard. It's probably just omnivore. Get back something else. I think we just have to go to one here. I'm not thrilled about it, but. We can't regrow migration. It is not a permanent. I like that all of you guys thought. <laughs> why can't, why didn't you get back the migration? Actually gonna attack here and we'll play Skin Witch. I'm surprised they threw both of the Orcish Vandals away. Like that seems aggressive. If they kept one and we we like it just we just can't go to one at that point. What's happening right now? I mean, if you have run amok, we're dead. So, oh, I guess you're thinking we're gonna double block here. Sure, we have one card to have hit to kill us. So, three, four, five, six, seven. We can put you to seven, plus everyone. Put you to four. But I just can't wait to be king. Who said that? Was that friggin' Lafof? Who was it? Elk Tears? Oh my god, dude. Let's get down to business. To touch my buns. Is it other creatures? Oh, each creature. Okay. These guys got hexproof, so I'm feeling okay about the double block, the doubles block here. Didn't they give me daughters when I asked for buns? Pretty sure my whole desktop just crashed, so. One day I'll... Really, that's the one you're going to kill. Hmm. That was an intriguing choice. You're also dead on board if you don't have a thing. That's a mountain. Oh, that was a good draw.
Two hex proofy boys. All right, this is 10. One with hex proof, one is a 5 6. Wow, what a game, dude. Thought we were dead, and then we survived. Gonna bring in a broken bond. Like you do. My goodness gracious. Remember that, that time that one life point was all you needed? I'm also gonna bring this divest in. How many times have we drawn settle the score and actually actually cast that on a creature? I think it was zero. What's the settle the score score? Zero. Ah, oh, the old cringe howie, a classic. Oh, look, we'll do it. This time we'll do it. We will settle some scores this game. That was a good draw. That was a good draw. And we can get our planes with it. Perfect. Perfect. Be a man. <laughs> Executive producer credits to Frank for that comeback. Yeah, I did. I did help produce that. Oh, look at this. 2 2 Haster. This Hasty Boy. Are we going to see a Chain Whirler next turn? Kill our Sap Herd? Now, now we're talking. See, look, we got, two, uh, we got two uppity on our Settle the Score comments. And now like, Magic's like, fine. Here's your stupid Settle the Scores. And I'm like, hey, man, cool. Coolsville, Daddy O. Oh, no, no chain, no chain whirler. Damav, welcome back. Thank you so much. Two months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. The Dutch way. <laughs> it's nice. I accept. So I'm pretty sure we're going to use the Shalai art as the, uh, the thumbnail for this video. That seems pretty obvious. Oh, squeeze a gobo. No attacks? Okay. Okay. I don't even know if I want to settle one of these guys. I probably just want to scur scurveyor here. This thing is obnoxious, I guess. Whatever. We're going to spend three mana to equip that thing. That's all gravy. Triggered on uns how many times can you unsub in one stream, man? I feel like you're at your limit. What do we even get here? A swamp? Sounds good. I accidentally give you a prime sub as well. How many how do, do we can you sub twice is that possible no an attack from squeeze seems bad there like we just block with sapperling and then they have to recast it for three mana they're basically having to pay three mana one turn to get rid of a sapperling which i don't think is a good value You can't see it, but on my desktop, I have an unsub goal bar. Wow, that's amazing. How high am I right now? I'm just taking this. I guess that's true. If Elk Tears can unsub twice, I'm pretty sure you can sub twice. That is only fair. That is the That's the way of the, the, way of the world right there. I'm going to send a little chunky herd in.
Did you just call him Chunky Herd? Did you gift me a sub? Am I listed as a sub? Am I a sub? I think I'm only just a sub because I've been subbed forever. I don't see the... I don't know when it was. When would it have been, you think? Yeah, that's an easily exilable guy. They have four cards. Are they all big things that we care about? I don't know. Oh, let's find out. Let's find out on Dragon Ball Z. Bad Magic Player 13. Thank you for the sub. 18 months in a row. I'm going to wait two years. We are getting there. Super. Look at this hand, dude. Howling Golem, I don't care about. Warcry Phoenix, I can't really deal with if we put it in the graveyard. It's just better for you. Chain Whirler is obnoxious. And Garna... Garna's pretty obnoxious. Garna's probably more obnoxious than Chain Whirler, actually. So, we get rid of the Garna. I don't care about it. The Chain Whirler only kills this guy, but the Garna has the potential to get back a bunch of dudes in one turn. Next turn, they get Alpha. We can go block, block, block. They get three guys back. I'd rather not have to play around that. Whereas, like, this is the only dude I care about with Chain Whirler. And now I can just sack it anyway, so. Uh, yeah. We're halfway there. All right, there you go. That is not going to help you cast that Chain Whirler. Ooh, give me them cards. God, I love this guy as a card-drawn machine. It's like my opponent has to invest the three mana in it, but I get the cards too. Frank, would you prefer people support you through Twitch or through your Patreon? Well, they're two different. They're two different forms of content, is the thing, right? So, like, if you're supporting on Patreon, you're going to get articles and audio, like podcast things, and stuff like that. And if you're supporting on Twitch, I mean, that's just supporting the stream and like YouTube content and stuff like that. So. Um, it, it's not really the same. Like, it depends on what you want out of it. Like, if you find... Depends on where you find the value, I think. Like, I'm definitely... I'm trying... I'm trying really hard to make sure the, the, the Patreon content is unique. And it's not just, like, a secondary way to subscribe to me on Twitch. I, I want to be able... To, I want to make sure those are distinguishable. So you can be like, oh, I do like this Patreon content, but I also like the Twitch content. So I'll, I'll support both. Hopefully that made sense. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. So this is your hand. You can attack with this guy and then you just go block, block. I kind of just want to exile the Thalid. Just because he's obnoxious. Choose a planeswalker you control. Didn't even let me do it. Yeah, I think the Discord the Discord's great. Discord's one of my favorite parts. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Eat him up. So next turn, if you get a land, you can play Warcry Phoenix and Squee. Or just Squee. I guess you, you, yeah, you still need another red, so. How about a broken bond? That'd be sweet. Come at me with that Howling Golem. <laughs> Discord is for subs? Wait, are you being serious right now?
that's literally one of like the main things I advertise. It's on my Twitch profile. It's in the headline of the stream. It says, you know, Command Discord. It used to say all subscribers get access to the Discord channel. <clears throat> Savannah Lions. We will be doing another draft. We will be doing multiple other drafts, yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. got a game, boys. So we know your hand is these two and one other thing. That seems good. I guess we're just hoping you don't hit a a land here or a removal spell. Why did I say land? I don't know. Sometimes you just talk and you uh, you're in stream of consciousness and uh, it doesn't work out. Look at this little guy. I'm pretty sure I actually just take four here. I have no desire to lose a mammoth spider to this guy. Oh, look at that guy. All right, so I still know your hand. And I assume you have, you're have you going to play Warcry Phoenix here. Yep, all right. So you got Chain Whirler and one other thing. Seems good. Yep, that's pretty epic. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Goodbye, Chain Whirly McWhirlerson. And what other other card you had? Let's see if it was a run amok. I would be curious to see that. Oh, Radiant Lighty. That would have been good. They could have, yeah, they would have taken three and then they would have killed our spider. That would have been sick. Skin Witch OP. Oh, you, oh, that's not good. That's no good. Should have gone there with the Howling Golem. Get those, get those extra draws. Four, five, six. We're going to keep playing lands because if we get another land, we can play Settle and Pump. What up, Josh? Good seeing you, buddy. We have no cards in hand. Oh, they actually couldn't have targeted us with Radiant Lightning because of Shalai. So, wow, that would have been a great block. They would have actually tried to hit us with the Lightning and uh, would not have worked out the way they wanted it to. Yeah, this card's pretty, pretty powerful. This is a pretty powerful card. And the reason we're being so uh, conservative with our attacks is because we just win this long game. So there's really no reason to get aggressive here. Especially because we have no way to really control combat other than Thalid Omnivore's ability. Oh, all right. We just win the game. All right. Well, unfortunately, that round one was pretty bon bonkers. Uh, their deck was pretty insane. Uh, Song of Frailies and History. But... Um, yeah, otherwise, the round two and round three went pretty much how we figured they'd go. So thank you guys for watching. really appreciate it. Like I said in the video, uh, Patreon content is unique. So definitely check out my Patreon. It's in the link. The link is in the description, rather. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.